What if everything you've heard about polycystic kidney disease is wrong? Here's the truth. When it comes to polycystic kidney disease, misinformation can delay treatment, create unnecessary fear, and stop people from taking life-saving action. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi, board-certified nephrologist and obesity medicine specialist. This is episode six, the finale of my polycystic kidney disease series. Over the past five episodes, we've covered a variety of topics. What polycystic kidney disease is and how it develops. How to slow its progression naturally. The treatment options from tolvaptan to transplant. Diet and lifestyle strategies backed by science and the cutting edge research that could lead to a cure in the near future. And today, we're going to separate fact from fiction. I'll break down the five most common polycystic kidney disease myths and show you the science that debunked them. Now, if you're new here to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Share evidence-based kidney general health longevity strategies every single week. And this episode will bring all the PKD series together and correct some misconceptions you might have holding you back from optimal kidney health. Here are the five myths we're going to tackle. Myth number one, there's nothing you can do about polycystic kidney disease. Number two, if you have PKD, you'll definitely need dialysis. Myth number three, drinking more water doesn't make a difference. Myth number four, diet doesn't matter in PKD. And myth number five, PKD research isn't going anywhere. Let's start with the most damaging myth of all. Myth number one, there's nothing you can do about PKD. This is the single most damaging myth, and it couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, polycystic kidney disease is genetic. You can't change the mutation you inherited, not yet, but it's absolutely treatable. Here's what decades of research now show. The HALT PKD trial proved that aggressive blood pressure control, keeping systolic blood pressure below 120, and if possible, 110 millimeters of mercury significantly slowed cyst growth and preserved kidney function compared with standard targets around 130. The TEMPLE 3, 4, and REPRISE trials confirmed that tolvaptan reduces the rate of kidney enlargement by 49% and delays kidney failure by several years. And lifestyle habits like lowering sodium below 2300 milligrams per day, maintaining a healthy weight, staying hydrated with three to four liters of fluid per day, reduce vasopressin, which is one of the main hormonal triggers of cyst growth. So yes, there is a lot you can do. Every small positive change adds up. And the earlier you start, the more years of kidney function you preserve. The truth, PKD is genetic, but it's not unstoppable. All right, let's get into myth number two. If you have PKD, you'll definitely need dialysis. True. While PKD is a leading cause of end-stage kidney disease, many people never reach dialysis or do so much later in life than they fear. The CRISP study found that people with slow disease progression, especially those with PKD2 mutations, often maintain stable kidney function for decades. In fact, People with PKD2 can maintain their kidney function into their 70s or even 80s. And here's what most people don't realize. For those who eventually require kidney replacement therapy, transplant outcomes are excellent. Five-year kidney transplant survival exceeds 85 to 90% in major transplant registries. And here's the best part. PKD does not recur in transplanted kidneys. You're getting a healthy organ with normal genes, so the disease stays with the old kidneys. With modern care, life expectancy for people well-managed, PKD can approach that of the general population. And the truth is, not everyone with polycystic kidney disease need dialysis, and transplant outcomes are exceptional. Myth number three, drinking water doesn't make a difference. Turns out, actually it does, and the science is very clear. PKD cyst growth is driven by vasopressin, a hormone released when you're dehydrated. 
drinking more water suppresses vasopressin and lowers the signaling molecule cyclic AMP, which in turn reduces cyst growth. Here's the evidence. In multiple studies, including follow-up trials to the original water intake research, patients who maintained urine osmolality below 280 milliosm per kilogram, equivalent to about three or four liters of fluid daily, showed slower kidney volume growth compared to those drinking less. One study even showed that people who increased their water intake had measurable decreases in vasopressin levels within weeks. Now, this doesn't mean you should overhydrate without guidance, especially if you have advanced kidney disease or heart problems. But consistent hydration throughout the day is one of the simplest and safest ways to protect your kidneys. The truth? Hydration directly lowers vasopressin and slows cyst growth. Myth number four, diet doesn't matter in PKD. The truth is diet absolutely matters. Nutrition influences blood pressure, oxidative stress, and vasopressin, all key drivers of polycystic kidney disease progression. High sodium and high fructose diet accelerates cyst growth. On the other hand, a plant-dominant whole food diet lowers inflammation and blood pressure. The Kramer's 2022 study showed that people with autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease who reduced sodium below 2300 milligrams per day had significant slower total kidney volume growth. And high fructose intake has been shown to raise uric acid and vasopressin, both of which are harmful to the kidney's microenvironment. And in animal studies, High fructose diets increase cyst volume by nearly 80% compared with controls. Now, you don't need extreme restriction, just consistent, moderate, plant-rich eating. The choices you make at every meal either protect your kidneys or accelerate disease. The truth? Diet is one of the most powerful tools you have. Let's get into myth number five. PKD research isn't going anywhere. This myth might have been true 20 years ago, but not today. We are witnessing a renaissance in PKD science. Here's what's happening right now. There are over 50 active clinical trials worldwide exploring gene therapy, RNA interference, stem cell regeneration, and AI-driven drug discovery. The RGL, or 29 up therapy, the trial has already shown reduced kidney volume growth in phase two data. Gene editing using CRISPR-Cas9 has successfully corrected PKD1 mutations in human kidney organoids with a 90% reduction in cyst formation. And AI-based drug modeling is identifying new compounds faster than ever before. What used to take years now takes months and in some cases weeks. The trajectory is clear. PKD care is moving from symptom management to disease modification and eventually genetic repair. And a cure isn't just possible, it's likely. The truth? PKD research is accelerating faster than any point in history. Finally, a bonus myth. PKD only affects the kidneys. Polycystic kidney disease is a systemic condition and it can affect the liver, the pancreas, heart valves, and even brain arteries. About one in three patients develop liver cysts, and a small percentage have aneurysms in the brain. But again, these risks are manageable with screening and blood pressure control. Early detection allows prevention, not panic. If you have polycystic kidney disease, ask your doctor about screening for brain aneurysms. If there's a family history of rupture, monitoring, liver cyst if you have symptoms, and regular echocardiograms to check heart valves. The truth, PKD affects more than kidneys, but you can stay ahead of it with proper screening. All right, quick question for everyone. Which of these myths surprised you the most? Or was there one you used to believe? Drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you already know and what you learned from this video. Let's bring this all together and recap the truth about polycystic kidney disease. Myth number one, there's nothing you can do. The truth, blood pressure control. 
tolvaptan, hydration, and lifestyle changes can delay kidney failure by years. Myth number two, you'll definitely need dialysis. The truth, not everyone reaches dialysis. And transplant outcomes are excellent, 85 to 90% graft survival at five years. Myth number three, water doesn't make a difference. The truth, hydration suppresses vasopressin and slows cyst growth. Myth number four, diet doesn't matter. Truth, lowering sodium and fructose protects kidneys. Every meal is a choice. Myth number five, research isn't going anywhere. The truth, over 50 clinical trials are underway and there is a cure on the horizon. Knowledge is power and you have more control over PKD than you might think. If this series helped you understand PKD better, share this with a colleague, hit that like button, subscribe for weekly evidence-based kidney health content and general health and longevity content. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this journey, for helping me develop this content and share it with a worldwide audience. I would love your feedback on what you'd like to hear next. And as always, don't forget to practice gratitude and kindness for yourself and for others. And always make sure that you do good in this world. Everything that you have is going to fade. We come with nothing, we leave with nothing. And if you haven't watched the full series yet, start from episode one, Polycystic Kidney Disease Explained, The Silent Thread. Together, these six episodes, they are a complete roadmap for understanding your condition to taking charge of it. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.